Hey everybody, this is Jedi JC96 here with another Transformers review. Today I'll be reviewing the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Robot Replicas Skids. So, real quick, I just want to say sorry for the lack of reviews. Uh, I've been a little bit lazy. Um, yeah, I decided to review this guy since he's quick and easy. Like your mama! Like your mama! Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'll just get on to the review now. Here's Skids. Uh, obviously, since he's a robot replica, hence the name, he is not transformable. Uh, um, but pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I sounded like Mike Slash there. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see he has a pretty nice head sculpt there. Uh, the blue eyes and the silver teeth. Um, the only thing I don't like is that he doesn't have the gold tooth, which is it's like, what? But still pretty good. Um, See the little, like, uh, grill there, front lights up here, Autobot symbol, he has the wheels up here on his shoulders, he has this big-ass cannon here, the bullets and stuff, really, really cool. See, this is his big hand, obviously, and here he has a small hand. Um, yeah, I love these little gold bits also, and it's a little bit of detail, which I really like. Um, it, yeah. There's that. You can see the wheels back here also. The little unpainted Chevy logo. And little backlights here and all that. So, really, really nice. Definitely a lot more movie accurate than the uh, deluxe skids. Um, yeah, for articulation, his head can rotate 360 degrees as well as go up and down side to side. And this is, a, I guess you could call it a gimmick. Um, he has ball joints on these little sort of pieces right here. Uh, and so you can actually move them up and down, back and forth, and kind of rotate them too. Uh, so it's sort of like Deluxe Skids' gimmick, but he just doesn't bob the head. Um, so I find that pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, and his arms can rotate 360 degrees, so let's go in and out. But all the joints are really, really tight. Um, you can bend at the elbow, rotate 360 degrees at the elbow, and also go in and out and up and down a little bit. Uh, no wrist articulation, sadly, but, um, it's pretty much the same for over here on this arm. Uh, his upper body can rotate 360 degrees, as well as go forward and back, and side to side and all that stuff. Uh, his legs can go forward and back, in and out. Uh, he can bend at the knee. Um, and his feet are on ball joints, so they can rotate 360 degrees, as well as go up and down and in and out. Or side to side, whatever. So you can uh, get him in some pretty cool poses. Try to get him in a cool one here. Hopefully he doesn't look like a retard. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's pretty much no way to pose him <laughs> without him looking kind of stupid. Uh, yeah, right now he pretty much just looks like a retard uh, trying to aim his gun. So I'm just going to put him into his regular pose now. And which is just this. Straighten up. Um, there you go. That is him. Uh, for size comparison, here we have next two deluxe skids. You can see um, they're about the same size, but if you take off the backpack of the deluxe skids, he is actually taller. So, pretty cool. Um, and next to the G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra and Ninja Commando Snake Eyes. Uh, you can see he only goes up to about his neck or so. Or chest, whatever. So I think he's about maybe four and a quarter inches, maybe just four inches. I'm not sure, um, but he's a pretty good size. Um, just give you one last look at detailing, just so you get an idea of what he looks like. So I don't leave out anything. I didn't, because I know some people will complain that I didn't show one little detail on him. Oh, you missed the little gear that's on there. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, there is skids. I hope I went over everything. Um, yeah, it's pretty much him. Not much else to say. Um, it's definitely a lot more movie accurate than uh, the deluxe skids. Uh, he has really, really good articulation. Um, and just a lot of detailing and all that. Uh, so if you have no problem, or you actually like non-transformable Transformers, and you love skids and stuff, then I would definitely recommend picking this figure up. Because uh, I know a lot of people 
hate non-transformable Transformers. Some people like them. Personally, I really like them. Um, yeah, again, if you like non-transformable Transformers and you like skids, then definitely pick this guy up. Uh, he's a little bit expensive. I think he's about $13 with tax. I think I got him at Walmart. Yeah, yeah, I got him at Walmart. I'm pretty sure he's about $13, which is a little bit expensive, seeing that it, as though that's even more expensive than a deluxe, and he doesn't even transform. Um, but I still do recommend getting him. Uh, definitely, if you're only going to get one robot replica, then get this guy. He's really cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the review, and this is Jedi Jesse 96 signing out. I'm a fire in my laser.